Here we will see a very interesting and important question from the topic principle of mathematical induction. Here question is prove the following by the principle of induction for all n belonging to capital N in set of natural numbers. Here statement is 1 square plus 3 square plus 5 square up to 2n minus 1 whole square is equal to n into 2n minus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 3. So this is known as mathematical statement and you know this is denoted by the symbol Pn. Okay. So let us see the solution here. This is given this is statement Pn, mathematical statement which is 1 square plus 3 square plus 5 square up to 2n minus 1 whole square. This is n into 2n minus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 3. Call it relation number 1. Okay. So, by the principle of mathematical induction, as we know, you have to follow two steps. In first step, you have to show that this statement Pn is true for n is equal to 1. Means we have to show that P1 is true. P1 is true means in the statement Pn, we will put n is equal to 1. So, n is equal to 1 means P1. So, in the first step, we will show that P1 is true. And in the second step, we will assume that PR is true, n is equal to R here, PR is true and finally we have to show that when PR is true then we have to show that PR plus 1 is also true. So after proving these two steps we will be able to conclude by the principle of mathematical induction that this given statement is true for all n. Okay? So let us start with the first step. Uh, to show that P1 to show that P1 is true so putting n is equal to 1 in relation number 1 the total number of terms is n this is 1 square 2 into 2 minus 1 3 square 2 into 3 minus 1, 5 square, similarly, so this is nth term, isn't it? So putting n is equal to 1 here, so we will take only one term, since n indicates number of term also, so we will take only one term here, n is equal to 1. So in left hand side, this is 1 square, and right hand side, in place of n, we will put 1 here, so 1 into 2 into 1 minus 1, into 2 into 1 plus 1 divided by 3 or 1 is equal to this is 1 into 1 into 3 divided by 3 cancel out so we are getting 1 is equal to 1 that is LHS is equal to RHS so therefore P1 is true correct now second step, now we suppose that, we suppose that PR is true, so how we will get PR, in relation number 1 we will put N is equal to R, so we will get PR, so PR is true means that is by relation number 1, that is 1 square plus 3 square plus 5 square up to r square in place of n we are putting r is here so sorry 2r minus 1 whole square in place of n we are putting r so this is last term is 2r minus 1 whole square 2r minus 1 whole square is equal to the right hand side we will put n is equal to r so r into 2r minus 1 into 2r plus 1 divided by 3 this is relation number 2 so we have supposed that this is true pr is true and final step we have to show that pr plus 1 is true now we have to show that now now we have to show that we have to show that pr plus 1 is true 
so putting n is equal to r plus 1 in relation number 1 we will get this is 1 square plus 3 square plus 5 square and finally we will put n is equal to r plus 1 so uh, previous to the last term is 2r minus 1 whole square and the last term we will put n is equal to r plus 1 so this will be 2 into r plus 1 whole square minus 1 whole square we are putting sorry square is not here isn't it we are putting n is equal to r plus 1 so 2 into r plus 1 minus 1 whole square this is left hand side and right hand side here also we will put n is equal to r plus 1 so this is r plus 1 into here also we will put r plus 1 so 2 into r plus 1 means 2r plus 2 minus 1 means 2r plus 1 and here also i n is equal to r plus 1 so 2 into r plus 1 means 2r plus 2 and plus 1 so 3 so 2r plus 3 divided by 3 so we have to establish it we have to show it we have to prove it here that lhs is equal to rhs okay so lhs is equal to how much up to this part in place of this part by relation number two we can write this much okay this much is equal to already we have assumed in relation number two so for this part we will write this expression so LHS will be R into 2R minus 1 into 2R plus 1 divided by 3. And the last term is this much. So last term is 2 into R plus 1. So 2R plus 2 minus 1. So this is 2R plus 1 whole square. Okay. So now we will take here. 2r plus 1 common 2r plus 1 is here 2r plus 1 is also here so 2r plus 1 is common here and here r into 2r minus 1 is remaining so 2r square minus r 2r square minus r and here lcm is 3 so write 3 here and this 3 will be multiplied with 2r plus 1 because 2r plus 1 is common so 1 uh, part is remaining 2r plus 1 will be multiplied with 6 3 sorry so 6r plus 3 so this is plus 6r plus 3 and this is 2r plus 1 divided by 3 into here 2r square plus 5r plus 3 2r square plus 5r plus 3 you see this is algebraic expression so we have to factorize it so this is equal to 2r plus 1 divided by 3 into uh, let us split up this middle term this is 5r will be 2r plus 3r okay so this 2r square plus 2r plus 3r plus 3 and this is equal to 2r plus 1 divided by 3 and into here 2r will be common from these two terms so 2r will be common here r plus 1 r plus 1 and from these two terms we can take 3 common so 3 r plus 1 okay so this is equal to 2r plus 1 by 3 here r plus 1 will be common so r plus 1 is common and 2r plus 3 so 2r plus 3 now just we have to arrange the factors in the numerator you see we are getting this right hand side so this is equal to first we are writing r plus 1 here r plus 1 here second factor is 2r plus 1 we have 2r plus 1 here 2r plus 1 and last factor is 2r plus 3 2r plus 3 divided by 3 this is right hand side so we have started here from left hand side this part 
we started from left hand side this part and we have come to this right hand side here so it has been proved so just one line we have to write that by the principle of mathematical induction this statement is true for all n so therefore by the principle of the principle of mathematical induction given pn is true for all n so this result has been proved has been established here okay so this is the way this is the process to solve the problems from this topic principle of mathematical induction just you have to understand the concept you can do this question very easily so hope you have understood it very well thank you very much Thank you.